She lived on the streets as a teenager, but now a Louisville woman hopes to get others off of them. WDRB's Addie Shaney tells us how her tiny plan could make a big difference. Jacob's Ladder Outreach plans to build 35 tiny homes on this plot of land. Founders say for someone facing homelessness, this could mean finally having somewhere to call home. When I was young, right out of high school, I was actually living in my car. Angela Tamora was 17 years old when her parents kicked her out of the house because of family problems. She was homeless. I was working two jobs and I just, I decided to join the army. She enlisted so she'd have somewhere consistent to sleep at night. You can either decide to let it make you a victim of something or you can use it to not only better yourself, but hopefully better others around you. Tamora chose the second option. She co-founded Jacob's Ladder Outreach in 2020. The nonprofit serves Louisville's homeless community, but feeding people doesn't solve what Tamora says is the source of homelessness, lack of affordable housing. You just got to stop waiting for someone else to try to solve the problem. That's why the organization's developing Eden's Village of Louisville. It will have 35 nearly 400 square foot tiny homes, a community center, and wraparound services. Organizers signed a contract but haven't bought the land yet. The down payment is $150,000. Each tiny home costs $60,000. This will all be um, private private money, whether it comes from individuals, corporations, or, or grants. The organization isn't using any government money because they don't want to deal with the red tape that comes along with it. The village provides permanent housing. People who apply and get accepted can stay there forever. Rent will be $350 a month. Tamora hopes the village can be the place the next 17-year-old in her position can call home. If you want something done right, you do it yourself. So if they get funding in place, they plan to open Eden's Village behind this fence within the next year or so. With photojournalist Neil Johnson, Addie Shaney, WDRB News.